Um, I guess I'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. I'm <laughs> um, yeah. Commissioner Sweeney had called me and told me she wouldn't be able to be here, but I didn't know that others would. But anyway, so we don't have a quorum, but we'll go ahead and proceed. Um, the first thing on the agenda, of course, is the approval of the courthouse and property committee minutes, and we'll defer that to the next time I can do a quorum. Um, fire Department, Mark. Uh, you have a few. My report, unless you have any other questions, and I will uh, let you know that we have moved our administration offices to the business complex, so that went very smooth. And IT department had everything ready for us to go. We don't ever miss the beat. I don't think we would judge. And so far, is everything good since you've moved? I mean, is yeah, it been beneficial? Uh, I can't uh, find nothing, but that's okay. I'll, I'll fix it. You will in a month or two. <laughs> okay. What is about that? trucks? Is, every, is all your trucks still running? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we have our own. Better than it was. Uh, I will tell you, this, I will tell you this, that uh, we do have a lot Without calling any names, we had a Jackson County that worked on a lot of our equipment that has closed his shop down and he's going to work for somebody else, so that's going to kind of hamper us. Because he was real good to us and fair, I feel like. And, and so we will have to. I mean, we can do a lot of re spring the brakes, stuff like that. When you get into the electronics side of it, you have to have somebody with computer software. And, the computer along with six grand and you know, the software upgrades are just astronomical every year. So we would have a venture into that. And a lot of times when you get into the software on the video, you can push the wrong button with that video go faster or not at all, you know. So we kind of stay out of that field. And I will say that uh, we have lost two more firemen from the drone. One choosing a different career than another one choosing another department. So tonight we're both veteran firemen. So we will get up and start the application process today with this one. We will be hiring full time and part time. This year we will allow you to have part time people. So we'll probably be moving forward that. Does anybody in the audience have? Not so often, but okay. Um, planning and zoning, Chris. Um, well, you have my support, but uh, I guess the main thing is I don't really have a lot to add to it, but it uh, looked like it was introduced to Amy Peterson. Um, she was the coach director. I've heard good things about her. She's awesome. And um, she, but anyway, we, you know, we were a month behind with the move on so you should have two reports for me. But I went ahead and did a, put a lot of information on that normally she will be reporting in the future. So there would have been cross there would have been a lot of cross pollination between two reports if we did that. That's what I was gonna say, is there gonna be one for posts and one for there, there will be. Okay. There was one thing that I left out there which would have been um, the number of building inspections and so I can let her talking about building inspections. Um, she has her numbers with her but but for the purpose of that just They're still doing it, um, regardless of whether things may be about to level off or so. You know, we're, we're not seeing it. And of course, even if we had to slow down, the codes department will continue on still with a lot of work uh, that's left behind residually because there's a lot of different inspections for every single permit that's issued. So even if we were to slow down a little bit of permits, we haven't. And if we were to do that, the show must go on on her side. So, um, but anyway, she has those numbers, and I'll let her pick up. Yeah. Uh, I just want to add uh, on inspections. From the same period last year, we were doing 143 inspections in July, and this, this past July, we were doing 49 inspections. Um, so that's a reflection of the growth in the county, for sure. Um, with the split, we also suffered the move like the Francis did. Um, so we're still finding things, but I, I took with me a new in hire inspector. His training is going well, and we also recently added a front desk position. She'll start the next week. Awesome. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to ask Amy to include that, and along with Chris's report, 
two relatively new employees that we've taken on in the past three months. Um, one of them took our network security position, the other one the help desk analyst position. I feel good about retaining these employees, uh, especially in light of the recent changes that have been made to the bank. So I haven't had an opportunity to thank the commission, but I'd like to personally thank you all for, for investing in us. Uh, we'll make sure that we see a large return in our investment. Um, I guarantee that. Uh, we're excited about Ms. Tuck. She's a, a lifelong resident of Normandy, so she's a local resident here. Uh, she's a former volunteer firefighter uh, in Coffee County, and uh, she's really excited about the position. Uh, we also hired Andrew Vanderpool. Uh, he is he is formerly of the Air Force, and he's a veteran, and he's taking on our network security. And he's right now he's uh, he's going on, he's un undergoing. A comprehensive security review of our policies uh, for our systems, and he's collaborating with MSI SAC. Uh, they're an organization that's dedicated uh, to network security for governments, and small and large. So we have a lot of changes taking place. A lot of the growth and the, and the different offices that have moved locations have helped us to tidy up some situations where we might need a better connection. So that's made some improvements for us as well. We're glad to have that uh, neighbors next door in the fire department. So things are going well for us. Well, it sounds like Sassy, for the most part, system wide is much better. So that's good. Josh, like Michelle. I always fuss on Chris to make sure that he brings in enough money to pay for his department. Mm -hmm. And yours is a little bit unique in that you're doing it for us. but. I just wonder how much would it cost if we hired out the private sector to do all of that. And I'm not asking you to do it, but just, it'd be nice one time if you could say, you know, we saved the county $2 million this year or something like that. Because of all you do. He's I mean, given us numbers like that yeah. before. Yeah, just every now and then update us. Maybe at that. the end of each year sure. or each something. And no problem. What they do, Julie, is just phenomenal. Oh, I know it is. Yeah, he's given us numbers before, but I just don't yeah. remember. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you some topics. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's, it's always, I mean, it always shows that y'all saved a lot of money, especially re repurposing, you know, other technology that's come from other departments. And I know they do. So we appreciate what you do. Thank you. Does so anybody have any questions for Josh? Apologize, my report wasn't in the packet. I, I had it done in time, but we had some cross wires and we didn't get where it was supposed to be. But um, um, not a whole lot to add to the, the written report. I'm, I'm talking to, to Shane Hooper about a, a map that he needs to, to look at some future uh, projects. Uh, have have been working, you know, on marketing for things like the. Um, you know, license plate and uh, the, the new industry, neither of which I was the, the primary person to put out those messages, but I was sort of helping facilitate or adding on or, or, or things like that. Uh, and then just the normal stuff of, of you know, updating the, the, you know, taking photos, updating the, 
the, the county social media website. Do you have like, the answer to this? But do you know if they've gotten an email, Mark, that a number, if they've got the minimum number for the river lights um, license plate yet? I don't know what those numbers are. Yeah. It was yeah, you had to last week. Beth said they had like. 26 or something like that, you know, when I asked her about it last year. You have a thousand, don't you? Yeah, we have to have a thousand. But we've got until next year, we have to have a thousand by, it's got to be within one year. So we've got until next summer to get a thousand. I shared your name. I've actually signed up. There you go. Well, there you go. There's three of us.